Item number, SCP-670. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. The family unit, collectively referred to as SCP-670, is currently contained at Sector 25, located in England. Members of SCP-670 are to be contained in a shared 12 meter by 6 meter holding cell, observed via surveillance camera. Cell is to contain four beds, a bathroom, and an observation window. All staff entering SCP-670's containment area are to be searched for lighters, matches, and other sources of open flames. SCP-670 is to be provided with 45 centimeters of cotton, 25 centimeters of silk, 25 centimeters of polyester, 15 centimeters of rayon, and 12 centimeters of rope each month. Any objects created by members of SCP-670 that could be used as a weapon are to be immediately removed from the containment area. Description SCP-670 is comprised of four roughly humanoid individuals. SCP-671, SCP-672, SCP-673, and SCP-674 who refer to themselves collectively as the Cotton Family. SCP-671 and SCP-672 appear to be the father and the mother of the family, judging by their height and comments made in interviews, while SCP-673 and SCP-674 are the children of the family. Members of SCP-670 possess a thin outer layer of hardened clay skin showing signs of deterioration from over a long length of time. Under this, the organs, flesh, and nervous system are composed entirely of different types of thread. The majority of the thread used is cotton, but large amounts of silk and polyester are also present. Small amounts of rayon and nylon are also noted in the internal organs. The skeleton is composed of rope knotted into a suitable shape, and the fingers of SCP-670 members seem to be rusted sewing needles. Members of SCP-670 have demonstrated an advanced aptitude for the use of thread, using their fingers to create extremely complicated objects, such as suitable eating implements and seating in a short amount of time. Notable objects created by members of SCP-670 include one bicycle, functional, one television, non-functional. One clock, functional. One roast chicken, consumed by members of SCP-670. One detailed family portrait. One dagger. Members of SCP-670 show discomfort when using objects not composed of thread, such as plastic chairs or writing implements. The reason for this is currently unknown and members of SCP-670 refused to elaborate on it. SCP-670 was first discovered at Forest, near when a group of hikers reported that they had found a house made of rope in the forest. Agents were dispatched to investigate the matter and discovered SCP-670. The hikers were dosed with Class A amnestics, and SCP-670 was brought into containment without incident. Interview SCP-6711 Interviewed SCP-671 Interviewer Dr. Forward At approximately on 2000 SCP-671 constructed a dagger using SCP-670's monthly thread ration. The dagger was immediately confiscated and SCP-671 brought in for questioning. Begin Log SCP-671 is brought in by security. Doctor. Hello, SCP-671. Please, have a seat. SCP-671 looks down at seat. Um, do you have any other chairs? Doctor. I'm afraid not. SCP-671. Can I stand? Doctor. No. 
SCP-671 sits down. SCP-671. So, um, what's this about? Doctor, I understand you made a dagger earlier today. What did you intend to do with it? SCP-671 seems confused at this point. SCP-671. I don't see what... Oh, oh my goodness, no, I'm not a violent man, sir. Doctor, I see. However, if you didn't intend to escape, what was it for? SCP-671. Rodents, sir. Doctor, I'm sorry? SCP-671. Well, I've been hearing squeaking the last few nights, and I thought I should try and get rid of the rats. They spread disease, you know. Doctor. All right. Well, while you're here, SCP-671, I'd like to ask you a few questions. SCP-671. I'll try my best, sir. Doctor. Can you please tell me where and when you were born? SCP-671. 18... Sir. Doctor. Do you have any relatives? SCP-671. Yes, sir. My two children, Alfie and Elizabeth. Doctor. I mean parents. SCP-671. Oh, you mean Granddad Cotton? Doctor. Can you tell me more about Granddad Cotton? SCP-671. SCP-671. Well, he was a clever guy, good with his hands, gestures at himself. As you can see, don't really remember much about him. He died a while back. Great guy, though. Doctor. Well, can you tell me how you met your wife? SCP-671. Appears uncomfortable. I don't quite remember that, sir. It was a long time ago. Doctor. Well, that's all for now. SCP-671, please return to your containment area. We won't tolerate weapons again. SCP-671. Sorry, sir. End log. Closing statement. SCP-671 was returned to the containment area and is currently under heightened surveillance. Incident 671. SCP involved. SCP-670. Date. Location. SCP-670 Containment Area Description 7.40 p.m. Members of SCP-670 are consuming a polyester steak. SCP-673's eating implements slip out of its hands. SCP-673 suffers a small laceration on its left leg and attempts to conceal it. Other members of SCP-670 do not notice this laceration. 8.10 p.m. Members of SCP-670 are conversing while seated. SCP-673 stands to get up, but stumbles, revealing its injury. The other members of SCP-670 quickly approach. 8.11 PM. SCP-671 and SCP-674 restrain SCP-673. SCP-672 begins to carefully remove outer clay layer from SCP-673. SCP-673 vocalizes its distress at this point, and continues to do so until 8.19 p.m. 8.13 p.m. SCP-673's outer layer is completely removed. A stitched-together inner layer of red cotton is visible. SCP-672 begins to unstitch this inner layer. 8.15 p.m. SCP-672 deposits unstitched cotton thread on the cell floor. Inner workings of SCP-673 are now visible, including the heart and lungs. SCP-672 begins unstitching the lungs. 8.17 PM SCP-672 deposits unstitched polyester thread from the lungs next to the cotton thread. SCP-673's attempts to escape become less violent. SCP-672 begins unstitching the heart. 8.19 PM SCP-672 deposits unstitched nylon and polyester from the heart. 
SCP-673 ceases movement and vocalizations at this point. Presumed dead. Central nervous system, brain, and skeleton are now visible. 8.25 p.m. SCP-672 has unstitched the brain and central nervous system. Begins untying the skeleton. 8.28 p.m. Skeleton is untied and placed next to other disassembled materials of SCP-673. 8.29 p.m. SCP-671 approaches observation window and requests identical materials to those currently on the cell floor. Request accepted. 8.34 p.m. Requested materials are brought in by two D-Class personnel. SCP-672 requests that the clay skin is not removed, but other materials are delivered without incident. The materials that comprised SCP-673 are retrieved for further study. 8.35 p.m. SCP-672 begins creating an identical copy of SCP-673 from the delivered materials. 8.44 p.m. Clay skin is applied to copy. Copy of SCP-673 is completed. SCP-671 refers to it as Alfie Cotton. 8.45 p.m. SCP-670 retires to their beds. Retrieved materials contain no anomalous properties, but study is still ongoing. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-669, A Didactic Perspective, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.